In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Internet Explorer web interface to use the dewarping feature from an NVR that supports the dewarping of fisheye cameras. Here I have Microsoft Edge open, and I'm going to use the Internet Explorer compatibility mode. We have another video on how to enable the Internet Explorer compatibility mode using Edge if you do not already have it enabled. First, I'm going to type in the IP address of my NVR. It's the default 192.168.1.108 and I'm going to hit enter to go to that page. To get to the Internet Explorer web interface, I'm going to click the three dots at the top right hand side, go to the more tools menu option, and reload this into Internet Explorer mode. It's going to reload and refresh the page, and then I can log in using the default admin user and password found on the top of my NVR. I'm going to click the login button and click OK. I'm going to go to the live view screen and then here is a please click here to download and install the plugin. So I'm going to click that. It's going to ask if I want to run or save the plugin. I'm going to want to run it to install it and then I'm going to click run again. It's going to go through a quick Windows wizard and install the plugin. Now I want to pull up the camera so I'm going to click it. I have it set to the first channel. Then I'm going to click it. It's going to bring it up in mainstream mode as indicated by the M here. And then I can double click it to bring it into the full screen of my grid. To use the de-warping features, I first need to go to the top of the camera or channel and hover over the eye icon called fisheye. I'm going to click that option. It's going to bring up the mounting modes and display modes. So here you can see this would be a ceiling mount. The slash option would be a desk mount. And then the center option is a wall mount, like I have it mounted in my video here. Now, depending on the mounting mode you choose, as you saw, it's going to change the display modes. Here with the wall mount option, I have this circle display, which is the undewarped fisheye view. I have a stretch mode, which is going to stretch the fisheye mode, and then I can adjust the fisheye by clicking and dragging the view up and down. There's a four quadrant view. What this is going to do is split out the view into three different windows with a main window for overview and I can click and drag each of these colors to different areas that I want to view using the Internet Explorer web interface. So I can drag it to these three different views and then I can even move them around. If I hover over each of the shapes I can also move them around. Here's another type of view. It splits it out into five views, one of them being an overview with four different colors for the shapes. And again, we can move the shape here, or we can move it with the highlighted color. And as you can see, I'm able to view around the entire fisheye view. Last but not least, there is a nine quadrant view with an overview in the center and eight different shapes or colors. And each one of these can be individually controlled as such. As I mentioned before, depending on the mounting mode, you will have different types of views and options available to you. For example, if it were ceiling mounted, I would have this view here, which splits out the fisheye view, and as I scroll across each different shape, it's going to split the fisheye view. Obviously, this would work much better if we actually had it mounted the way the mounted mode suggests, but this will give you a decent idea of the modes that are available from your fisheye camera. Again, this is a fisheye camera being used from an NVR that supports the dewarping function. I'm using the Internet Explorer web interface and web plugin. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.